Yo, what's going on? I want to talk about filming in public or being nervous to film in public. Since I started, even, I mean, before I started too, talking on camera was super weird for me. Like, even hearing my voice and editing, I'm just like, oh man, I hate this. But I've been starting to get better and better at it. And it definitely takes practice. Like, you got to keep doing it and keep doing it. But it's like, for a while, I was just like, damn, like, I don't want to vlog in public. Like, I don't want to be the dude holding the camera up and having people look at me and be like, what are you doing? And it's just like, I was at Rye the other day, just walking through with my camera. I think I was filming, uh, we were doing a uh, skate demo at Water Country, so I was filming us, like, grabbing the ramps or whatever, and a bunch of little kids, oh, are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? Super hyped on it, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how they grow up now is like with with youtube you know what i mean and and watching vlogs and that's their generation so it's like you know little kids are hyped on it but i was just like damn like these kids are hyped on it i like watching vlogs i watch them all the time on on youtube so i was like oh man like i do a lot of cool shit like maybe i'll start vlogging and you know i've done a lot of video projects i guess that I wish I would have vlogged. Like I went to Mexico, like Cabo, filmed fly fishing. Like we went on a, an island that no one's, you know, no one goes to. I've just done like some cool, cool shit. And I just never wanted to like walk around with a camera, like holding it, holding it up and filming myself. I just feel weird. But I just, I was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like, who cares what somebody thinks about you? Like, who cares? At, at Like I want to get, I want to produce the best video that I can with the tools that I have. I, you know, I have a great cameras. I have great mics. It's like, I want to make the best videos that I can and post up, you know? So like, I have to, I can't be sitting there, you know, looking at the camera and being like, yeah, so we're going to do this. And you know what I mean? Like, look around, be all quiet. Like, f I, it's, at this point, I'm just like, fuck it. Like, I don't care. I'm going to straight up my... My next vlog, you'll see, you'll see the difference from like my other ones. I haven't really done too much narrating and, and my boy was even telling me, he's like, you need to talk more. And I was like, damn, I know. I just, it's just weird. But I was like, whatever, man, like I'm just going to do it and I'm just going to vlog and talk in front of the camera. And if people have something to say, then it's cool. Like I, f I feel like people talk shit, but then they'll go and watch your thing. You know what I mean? Like they'll be like, oh, that came out sick. You know what I mean? Like people don't like being filmed. But when you film them and then show them like an edit or show them something cool, they'll be like, oh, dude, that was actually pretty cool. So it's like <clears throat> people are insecure for a minute. And it's like if someone even talks shit, they're going to be like, you're not going to ruin their day. They're going to be like, what's that dude doing? And then two minutes later, not even think of They're not going to go home and be like, oh, that, I saw some dude filming himself today, blah, blah, blah. I'm just to the point where it's like, I don't care what people think about me. I want to make the best videos that I can and post up like. I want to do the best work that I can do. That's the whole reason. Like I'm trying to film every day. I'm trying to edit every day just so I can become a better editor, filmmaker, just creative. Um, so I'm trying to do as many projects as I can just to, just to get better and better and better. And my editing just from watching edits and even when I watch movies now, I'm, I don't even like pay attention to the movie. I pay attention to like how they film that shot or like, you know, what they did. It's, it's, I'll be like, oh, yo, look at that. Like, my friends, I'll be watching a movie or something. And uh, I'll be like, oh, damn, look at that shot right there. Like, how did they get that? So it's just, like, weird. But I've just, I've noticed already that my editing's getting better. Like, I'm doing more creative stuff in my edits than I used to. You know, it just used to be the cuts, the fades, the normal stuff. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting better already. And with the vlogs, I want to get better just because, like, I've been slacking a lot just because I've been like nervous about filming in front of people and really caring what people think. But now it's like, whatever, dude, like watching people's vlogs on YouTube when they're like straight out in public talking, it's like, it comes out so good because they don't care. And it's when I do it or, you know what I mean? Like I'm sitting there like, or I, I won't bust it out because I'm in public or I'll be super like nonchalant about it or quiet and it's like, that's not producing good work. That's just being a bitch and too scared to do something. I, I definitely was, you know, cared what people thought and all that. But now it's just like, whatever, dude. Like, I want to make these vlogs 
so I'm going to make them. You know, I, I want to film, so I'm going to film. If I have, you know, I was like, shit, I should just film with my C, I should just vlog with my C100 with the mic on top, with the shotgun mic on top, just because, like, it has the handle, it has the flip-out screen. Um, I was using my Sony A6000, and the autofocus on that is dope. The menu system, just, like, moving things around in that is, I hate it. And AVCHD, absolutely hate that, too. So, because just from switching from 60 and 24, I think that that camera only shoots 60 in AVCHD, and it's just such a pain to switch from 24 to 60 if I'm trying to get like cinematic shots or whatever, like to slow down. It's just a pain in the menu system. The low light capability in that is dope. It's small, it's a nice camera, but you can't put a microphone on top of it unless it's a Sony mic. So it's just like, I'm not sure what I think about it. I do have the 7D Mark II, which has facial recognition for the autofocus. I was using that the other day, but even then sometimes like the lens will hunt and it just, you know, you'll you'll hear the motors and all that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna use the C100 just because it had, the menu system, like Canon's menu system, super simple. It's easy to navigate. This has the 60, I do a lot of like slow-mo stuff, so this has the 60 frames a second in slow-mo if you wanna do it, so it'll play back in camera in slow-mo. So that way when I'm doing like kind of cinematic shots, I'll be able to do it in camera. You know, I won't have to slow it down in post or whatever it might be. The low light capability in the C100 is awesome. The audio, hooking it up to the XLR is dope. So I'll have nice clean audio. The only thing is that it's big. The C100, the side handle, the handle on top, the microphone on top. So it's a big setup, but you have the flip out screen. You can turn it around. Like right now, I'm. I'm it's facing me so I can see if I'm in focus or not. The microphone's right on top. There's a lot of positives. I mean, the only negative is it's big, but it's not like uncomfortable. It has the handle on top so you can hold it there. It has the handle on the side so you can hold it there. It's not like it's uncomfortable. It's just like a big camera walking around with. But again, I don't care. I, I spent a lot of money on this camera, so I'm not gonna not use it because of what people think. So yeah, hopefully you guys can see the difference that I'm getting better and better at it. I definitely, you know, need to get better at talking more and I guess being more active or social in my vlogs, but hopefully you guys like them. I like making them. I like doing them. I think it's fun. So I'm just trying to get better at filming, better at editing, understand audio a little bit more. Audio is like a whole separate thing. And it's crazy. My, uh, my stepbrother's a producer out in California and... He just did the audio for Chasing Coral. Some big, you know, they did like Chasing Ice or something like that. But uh, yeah, he did all the audio for that. And I mean, those are huge, huge productions. Like audio, it probably takes longer to do the audio than it did to film the video. Like the audio is so important. It's, I want to get super good at audio because it's more, it's literally almost more important than video. You could watch a shitty quality video with good audio but you can't watch a perfect quality video with bad audio. You'll turn it off. So if you can, the audio was just so, so important. And people really don't realize that a lot. So, you know, I got a good mic. I got a decent camera. I'm going to run it and see what happens. That was a long rant, but uh, later. Yo, I need an outro. Yo, I need a dope outro. Shit. Yo, I need an intro and an outro.